Hey guys, welcome back once again. And uh, this is a small announcement on the new Azure batch, which I'm planning to start from 16th January. And the timing is morning 6.30 to 8 o'clock. It's going to be one and a half hour session. In this training, uh, what I'm planning to cover, I'm planning to cover AZ104, AZ305, and AZ400, which is admin, architect, and Azure DevOps modules. And the initial free demos are free, so you can join the link mentioned here. So on the demo day, you can uh, simply click on join this link. And if you have any questions or if you want to interact with the team, so you can uh, join the WhatsApp group mentioned here. And if you have any questions, you, you can drop me a note or you can call me on my mobile, right? And this training program is going to take two months. It's going to take two months, yeah. So Monday to Saturday, uh, six days a week, and roughly two months, it's, it's roughly around 40 to 45 sessions, and daily one and a half hour, as I mentioned, right? And the prerequisite's pretty simple. Either Windows or Linux administration skill will really help you to understand this in terms of Azure administration, okay? Uh, if you have some uh, additional virtualization, on-premise virtualization skill set, then it will be easy for you to understand the cloud. And the fee, you have two options, and we we'll get uh, installments, and you have to pay fifteen thousand in two installments, and if you'll get a uh, two thousand discount if you are going for single payment, right? It's, it's going to be thirteen thousand. And few demos are mentioned over here. You can uh, watch it, or in my channel, a uh, few demos that are uploaded, so you can you can watch the demos mentioned over here. Right. So let me quickly share the course content. I'll go to home and Azure. So this this has to be updated. So I'll update in some time. So we'll start with Azure Fundamentals and Azure Networking, Network Security. Again, deep network security using firewall. And then virtual machines, high availability using load balancer, DNS and standard load balancer, application gateway. So using these components, how you will provide the high availability. There is another module called the front, the front door, which uh, I still need to update here. So we'll update and uh, upload over here. And virtual machine skill sets for scalability and other options. So then we'll talk about storage. So if I go back, networking, computing, storage, okay. If you look at the traditional way, and then backup and disaster recovery services, and then we'll talk about databases and applications, security, Active Directory, and automation and uh, uh, Azure-based uh, uh, management. So desired state configurations and the other stuff that we'll, we'll discuss over here, right? And designing and developing apps and containers. So microservices. What is Docker? How you will use this Docker and Kubernetes services within the Azure? So we'll talk about that. And day-to-day -day operations, diagnostics, monitoring, analytics, reporting, and other stuff we'll discuss over here. And then we'll talk about, as I mentioned, uh, the front door, which was not mentioned here. So the NAT gateway, WAF, and all will be part of will be part of your application gateway so that we will try to cover over there itself and we'll talk about infrastructure as a code in this uh, using uh, using uh, arm templates how we will do the deployments using uh, terraform how we will uh, do the deployments okay, that we will see in this module and we'll talk about migration projects how you can migrate the workloads from on-premise to azure and what is the cost around that how you will provide the estimations and the stuff that we'll discuss then we'll jump on to function and logic apps okay so it is again a pass service how you can use it that we will see and management and governance how you can use the uh, azure inbuilt recommend uh, azure recommendations or uh, management and governance can be used to control the um, resources within the azure that we will discuss and then finally we'll come back to azure devops Okay, so how you will manage your CACD and integrations through Azure and what all the additional YAML manifest that you will use, all these things we will try to discuss in your Azure DevOps. So, and then at last we'll talk about a real-time project 
and certification how what all the certifications that you can try for so after completion of this i would say you can go for 104 and 305 um, certification and 400 you might need to spend more in in terms of uh, devops tools and then uh, appear for the certification so overall it's going to take uh, 60 hours and uh, we'll try to cover within uh, 40 to 45 days and it's going to start from 16th january so thank you all and i'll see you on the demo sessions thank you